this journey taking place right here. This is the scene of what is an annual miracle, the return of our salmon. It's one of the greatest migrations in nature, and it takes place in the middle of an urban area, which makes it even more phenomenal. The Salmon Journey, from here down Issaquah Creek to Lake Sammamish, past Mary Moore Park, Lake Union, the Ballard Locks, out to the Puget Sound, and the Pacific Ocean. They start picking up traces of Issaquah Creek way out in the ocean, and they know by instinct that that's where they have to get back to, and so they do the reverse journey. They come into Puget Sound, they go through Ballard Locks into Lake Washington, from Lake Washington to Sammamish River and Lake Sammamish and up Issaquah Creek. It's 42 miles from Ballard Locks to the Issaquah Hatchery, and what we want them to do is to get up here, and then we have a weir in the water, and they can't get over that weir. But on their journey, they have to go through the locks, they have to suffer predators. All kinds of hazard and potential predators before they get here, but it's a miracle that they make them. The salmon cycle is a major unit in our third grade science curriculum. So all of our students learn about the salmon cycle, the significance of salmon, particularly the significance in the Pacific Northwest, and in our local community. They turn red when they're older. What color does that salmon look like? So here in Issaquah is where the miraculous journey of the salmon begins. And those baby salmon get released in the spring, swim out to Lake Sammamish, and then through the Sammamish River into Lake Washington, all the way out through the Ballard Locks to the salt water. They're gonna live out there in the ocean for one and a half to three and a half years, depending on the species of fish. They'll swim up north as far as Alaska before they return back here in the fall to the very same stream where they were born at the end of their lives to reproduce and then die and start a new generation of salmon right here in Issaquah Creek. The health of salmon reflects the health of our environment. Salmon are our Northwest icon. Everybody knows about salmon kind of on the surface, but maybe doesn't really know how important they are and how connected they are to so many other things in our environment. The hatchery's been here since 1936, and it was built in order to replace the habitat that had been destroyed by logging and coal mining. In 1993, the state of Washington decided to shut it down. It was getting hard to maintain. That's when the community got together and lobbied the state legislature to keep this hatchery open and to rebuild it as an education facility. And that's what we have now. A beautiful new rebuilt hatchery that does education as well as cultivating salmon. What we're doing right now is we've crowded all of the spawning adults up. We're going to separate the male from the female. Hatchery head! Uh, you can actually see that we physically knock them out. So they're out of water. If you knock them out, they're going to they're going to die. What people don't understand is once they spawn naturally, they're going to die on their own. We're kind of helping them along. You can see we take the eggs, we take the milk from the male, and we'll put them in a bucket. They take the bucket of the eggs and the bucket, little small containers of milk, and they go in the hatchery building. They will then mix according to a little formula, the egg and the milk. That fertilizes the egg. Stocking is a process where uh, any eggs that don't have an embryo in them, uh, uh, the, the shell breaks because they're still in the tender stage. This is the machine that we use to first sort on the fertilized eggs and the unfertilized eggs. We still have to sort that because it's not 100%.
return and see the miracle of the spawning salmon every fall. Salmon, a miraculous journey.